Okay, everybody, now we're going to take a look at how to create uh, game manuals that we can put on our PSP and that we can view the game manual anytime we want when we're playing our PS1 game. Now, uh, this isn't limited to just game manuals. You can pretty much make it anything you want. You can uh, have a list of cheats or a walkthrough or whatever you want. Um, I just like game manuals because I don't usually, I don't normally use cheats or walkthroughs. Um, so, First off, if you're following in the text, um, this is section four, software manual creation. Um, in the event that you do have to create your own um, game manuals, uh, they will be images, and each image is limited to uh, 480 by 480. If they're any larger than that, the PSP won't be able to display the extra part of the image, so just keep it at 480 by 480 just to conserve uh, memory memory card space so and as i said you can convert um strategy guides walkthroughs or cheats if that's just, if that's what you want it's completely up to you so uh, the first step uh, we want to see if we can find a manual that's already been created because that would just save us some time some time so uh, go to um, psx psp manuals and you'll come to a site that looks like this um, there is a search function but i found it doesn't work very well um, so I just like search Dino Crisis, and it you know it said no no search results found. But you know if I actually went through the forums to see if there was one there, of course there is. So don't rely on the search function on this one. So um, you can go through whatever this guy's name is, PSX PSP manuals. You can also go through the user PSX PSP manuals. Um, and that's about it. You can, I guess, you can make a request if you want to, but I don't think this form is very active. It was last updated uh, last year, of, you know, in 2014. So I wouldn't keep my hopes up if you make a request. Uh, this is just a quick, a quick check to see if uh, you've, a manual is already created. So one for Dino Crisis already is created. So I'm going to go through um, this guy's Azumandia's PSX PSP manuals, and if I go down here to page two. You'll see right here there there is a um, manual for Dino Crisis. Um, and I can click on this media fire link and I can download that manual there. So um, always check to see if you have if your manual is already here already made that will save you a lot of time. Uh, sometimes it isn't so you that means you have to make your own. So the next best thing you can do is you can go to this link that's in the description and uh, this download is titled uh, Sony PlayStation Game Manuals Collections 508 Manuals. Um, so this is a pretty big download. It's almost two gigabytes, um, but that's because all of the manuals are in PDF format, which also means they're in, uh, it says good quality overall. So the means they're in pretty good, pretty high resolution. So you can click the spoiler here and you can see what every all the games that are included in this download. So um, if I scroll down here, I can find uh, Dino Crisis is in there in Dino Crisis English. So I could um, I could download this this uh, this collection, which I've already done, and this this is it right here. This is a two part collection. So if I just open this up and go through here, you'll see that. Um, uh, let's see where it is. Dino Crisis, the PDF for that is right here and I can just extract that single file. So if I just extract that to my desktop. And you can see right here that we have the PDF. So once you get your PDF here, um, you don't need, the, I don't, if you download it from the collection, you just, you just need that one PDF, that's all you need. So just close out of the 7-zip and then open your web browser back up and go to uh, zamzar.com and it's got a picture of these two um, chameleons on it. And this is where you're going to convert your PDF to some images that you can actually edit with um, your image editing software. So right here you're going to choose your file and then you're just going to navigate to that PDF. So I've got mine on my desktop and it's uh, right here. So open that up. So it already knows it's a PDF, it's right there. And then you wanna convert it to, um, uh, JPEG. 
and then this is where you enter your email address. Now, I want to go ahead and say that this is completely safe. Uh, when you enter your email address, you don't get any spam mail from Zamzar, and they don't um, they don't distribute your email address at all. So, uh, don't have to worry about spam um, in your uh, inbox by using this service. And then, so once you enter your email address, you just click convert. And then once you click convert, it's going to upload the PDF that you have selected. And then it's going to send you an email with a download link. And when you click that link, it'll give you um, a link to a web page where you can download all the images that you need to download. So once your, uh, your upload is complete, um, you'll have a page that comes up looks like this. It's, then it's telling you that your uh, upload is complete. So it's going to send you that email when, the, uh, when their uh, Zamzar server uh, converts your PDF to all those images. So uh, go check your email. Uh, if it's not in your inbox, check your um, junk mail folder. It could be in there. But anyway, just open up that email and then click the link inside and you'll um, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this and then it has all these downloads. So uh, you can see right here it has the individual pages that you can download the individual pages if you want to. But really the only thing you need to, down you need to download is the uh, first one that's uh, in a zip file, this the zip file contains everything here. So you don't have to download everything, just download that one zip file. So I've already done that here. And you can see here that the here uh, I have the zip file. And if I open this up, I have all of the pages. So I'm going to go ahead and extract this to my desktop. Okay, and I don't need the zip file anymore, so I'm just going to delete that. So uh, we have our PDF, which uh, now that we have our images, we don't need the PDF anymore, but you know, you can delete that if you want to. But here we have a folder with all of the images. And you can see that uh, as it creates thumbnails, you have the pages here. Um, you don't really need the CD cover. I'm just going to delete that because you don't really need it. Um, if you want to include the front and back covers, you certainly can. I usually do, uh, but that's just kind of personal preference. But when you download your PDF um, and you convert the pictures, you convert it to, a, to the pictures, um, what I like to do is make sure that they are... Um, they're numerically named so that they they stay in the correct order so um you know they're not named different things so uh, i want page three to stay page three you know it's in it's it's in order so uh since the cover is technically page zero and the back is the last page i'm just going to rename the back here i'm just going to click rename and i'm just going to put a z right there so it comes at the very end all the way down here so just so everything stays in the correct order so if you take a look here at the text, um, you'll see that I've written um, that uh, the pages will be will have two pages per picture. And for when I was writing this, that was true for um, for some of the manuals I was downloading. But it seems that this one doesn't have two pages per picture. It's just a single page, which is actually good because that's going to save us a, a good amount of time when we edit these. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open up GIMP here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to take each, every, every single one of these pictures and uh, drag and drop them into GIMP. And I'm just going to resize them uh, each to 480 by 480. So for example, I'm just going to take the... Uh, cover of the game here and just click convert and I'm just going to go up here to image and then scale image and as you can see the image is pretty large it's you know almost 6,000 by 6,000 pixels so 
um, I'm going to break the link here. I'm going to put 480. And then 480 again. And then scale. If I choose 100% zoom, here's our new image. And it is 480 by 480. So I'm just going to click File, uh, Overwrite, Overwrite page 0.jpg because I don't need the huge image. And I'll keep the quality at 100% and export it. And I don't need to save changes to the project here. And so uh, this one is now, uh, you can see here it's 480 by 480. And it looks, you know, just fine. Now this is what the PSP needs is a 480 by 480 um, image to display. So I'm going to go through and do each, do that to each one of these uh, pictures here. And then we'll continue. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, resized all these images. Um, and as you can see, if I just click on each one, each one is uh, 40 by 40. So all of them are resized. So we don't need GIMP anymore. We're going to close that out. So um, this folder right here on the desktop, this is the folder with all of our um, our document, uh, our game manual files, I mean. So go ahead and open up the tool pack. And you will have a folder that says PSP Doc Maker. Open that up, and then just open the exe, the PSP Doc Maker exe, and select Run. And then this is where you can add your files in. So uh, first off, come down here and change the game code. We're going to change this to SLUS, and then. Uh, if you look in, in uh, PSS to PSP, we can see that the game ID is 00922. So that's where you can get that. Just put the bin file in your PSX to PSP. Or you can look it up online, but I sometimes find that hard to do. But there it is. So we're going to call this 00922. Okay. Then we'll click the button that says Select Files. And we're going to navigate to our Dino Crisis folder that has the pictures in it, which is this one right here, Dino Crisis English. It just ha just so happens to be. And we're just going to click one and hit Control A to select all, and then click Open. And then it has all of our um, files in order. So as you can see, each, they're all in order. So it goes page zero, then three, all the way through twenty-three, and then Z, which is the back page, comes at the end. So uh, as long as they're in order and you're happy with that, click uh, the options button and then change the compression level to one. And then click save config. And then click create. And it's going to create our, our game manual. So click run again. And you just click save. We're saving it in the Dino Crisis uh, folder with all the pictures, that's fine. I'll just click save. And there we go. So if we go back to our Dino Crisis folder, we have a new document that's called just document.dat. So um, down here in the corner, you can see that we have a Dino Crisis folder, and that is where our eboot.pbp is. This is our game. So if you, if you want to read the manual while you're um, playing the game, just drag and drop that manual, the manual into the same folder that has the eboot.pbp and there you go. So now we are done with the game, we are done creating the manual. Um, the only thing that's left to do is just put this on our PSP